you need a H A eight eight point one. Now, if you go into somebody's bathroom, you'll probably find an enormous number of tubes and bottles, and jars and buckets. You'll find shower gel and shampoo, toothpaste, hair dye, and face cream. Interestingly, you can usually tell if the owner of this stuff is male or female, and it's and it's just not and it's. And it's not just the obvious thing, like a disposable razor and shaving foam for a man or makeup for a woman. Take something which both men and women use several on the other arm, for example, or some kind of face cream, uh, maybe for dry skin perhaps. You can usually tell if they belong to a man or a woman. I asked a product package designer, Mandy Woodshell, why this, why this is the cause. Why is why this is the why this is the case, Mandy? Yes, um, uh, yes. Hi, Andrew. Yes, in the beauty products industry, the design of labels and packing, packing, packaging is traditional different. You'll find the products for men tend to use a lot of black or gray. Maybe you'll see solid square black aftershave blue with a line of a sharp electric blue color to suggest power and speed. Women's products on the others, on the other hand, are often in pale pastel colors. Mm, you might see a round frosted glass jar of makeup remover, for example, or sometimes they use very strong colors like shocking pink or bright red especially for younger women. So if you are walking around the beauty product shelves in the supermarket, for example, you can easily see the difference between the dark serious men's section and the colorful woman's section. Mm, that reminds me of those photographs you see when we're ladies all get together for a summit and maybe there are 15 men dressed in dark suits and then two women in bright color outfits i mean don't mean like color i mean don't mean like color yes that's right the only color you see on the men are the ties i don't think it's that the men don't like the color it's more about color as a symbol is that it's that black and gray and their colors are supposed to be stronger and more serious somehow and it's similar with packing Packing sheet of beauty products or male grooming products as they are as they are called. I don't think mean like to think of them as beauty products. Products, uh, yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I remember not so long ago that men were not supposed to use face creams and that kind of thing. It was seen as with me a female behavior. Yes, times are changing, and in fact, the market for male grooming products is booming these days. It's not just having soap and aftershave anymore. Now there are men's fragrance, men's skin care products, and now they are starting to produce makeup for men too. So how, so how knows perhaps the traditional package design will start to change too? Maybe men's cosmetics will start to get a bit more colorful. So you think in few years I'll start wearing lipstick? I don't see why not. Well, okay, that's well, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you, Mandy, which for coming in to talk to us. Thank you. <clears throat> point no eight B point one. I don't think I'm conventional, really, but I don't think I could ever get a piercing done on my nose or lips, say, it's not cause I think it's bad or anything. You know, it's just that I think it looks painful and dangerous, maybe sort of ungenic, you know, and I think people do it just to, just for their look. I think, um, for me, appearance is not important, you know, I get my hair cut something, but it's just because I find long hair incoming. It's more difficult to wash and everything, um, but I don't think I could get my head shaved completely. Because if you do that, everybody looks at you and they think you want to send out some kind of signal. And I don't really want to send out, a, out any signal. 
with my appearance. You know, I'm not interested in image. It's all a waste of time if you ask me. I think maybe it's good just to look normal, you know, because then people don't notice your appearance so much. They are not distracted by it, so they just see you. And that's what really matters, isn't it? Mm, well, okay. I have my head shaved, as you can see. And I do it because it's like, it's like, I think it feels good and it looks good. It gives you great sense of escape of freedom. I think people, I think people, women especially, they get so obsessed about their hair. And they spend hours and a lot of, so, and not, and lots of cash on it but I think it's like they really hide behind it sort of anyway maybe some people find it a bit shocking but it's like grow up your head belongs to you do what you want with it I actually got my ears pierced quite recently since I since I shaved my head cuz I think cuz I think like earrings look great when you haven't got any hair to hide them I haven't got any other person through. Maybe one day I will. I don't know. Uh, well, I wear earrings a lot and I have my nose pierced. I mean, these things are quite normal and acceptable in my country. And we often have tattoos and as well, as well. But they are temporary, but they only last a few weeks. They're all, they're done with henna on the hands, for example. So uh, I've got tattoos, yes. But I don't shave my hair off, not normally anyway. I mean, I've done, I've, I've done it in the past, but I've never shaved my hair off just for no reason or for fashion in my country. Shaving your hair off is seen as a new start. I mean, we sometimes have it, have it done to celebrate the new year, so it's symbolic of that. But just for fashion, no, that's quite shocking for us. I mean, hair is seen as a beautiful thing. Especially for a woman, and I normally have long hair as I do now.